Hey folks, and welcome to Carstars' 10 Wild Facts about Joe's 69 Charter Daytona in the 2001 movie, Joe Dirt. Fact number one. There was only one hero car built for the film to portray the 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona with no other stunt or backup versions created. Joe's rather unique looking ride is actually a regular base model 1969 Dodge Charger built up as a Daytona replica. Fact number two. An actual authentic 69 Charger Daytona is a very rare car and was only made for that single year. There were only 503 units in total ever produced. A prime example of just how valuable these cars are today is this pristine all-original 1969 Charger Daytona that sold earlier this year at a Mecham auction for a record-breaking $1.43 million. Fact number three. Dodge actually had to produce at least 500 production Charger Daytonias in order to meet the entry qualifications of NASCAR for the time. However, the sole purpose of them creating this 200 mile per hour plus speed demon was to dominate NASCAR racing, in which they achieved big time. Fact number four. Dodge's NASCAR stock car version of the Charger Daytonia actually set a new land speed record for the time of 217.368 miles per hour. The car was driven by NASCAR legend Bobby Isaac at the Bonneville Salt Flats where he set that new record. Fact number five. Believe it or not, the Joe Dirt Charger's exterior isn't actually the dilapidated, rusty, mismatched body panel disaster that it appears to be at all. That rough looking bodywork is actually just prop master added paint effects and other accessories applied onto the excellent condition, non rusted, and damage free Dodge Charger body panels. Fact number six it's the same story for the interior as well. All that 1970s shag is just covering up seats and flooring that are also in excellent, non worn out condition. Under those atrocious seat covers lies the original and in great condition all white upholstery. Fact number seven. But it's not until you pop the hood until you realize just how thoroughly Hollywood has fooled us on this one. Doing so reveals the near show quality original plum crazy purple paint job and the perfectly healthy 375 horsepower 440 Magnum engine as well. So don't be fooled by its trickster of an exterior. This machine is in fact a full power and healthy as a horse muscle car that can really pack a punch. Fact number eight. In 2002, the studio sold the Joe Dirt Charger to a private buyer for only $18,000. That was certainly a steal of a deal for any 1969 Dodge Charger even back then. Fact number nine. In 2015, David Spade actually bought himself this real and very rare one of only 20 built T5 copper metallic 1969 Charger Daytona for a whopping $900,000. This baby is the real deal for sure and had just undergone a fresh professional restoration with the factory 425 horsepower 426 Hemi. Fact number 10. The one and only Joe Dirt Dodge Charger was last on public display at the Pedal to the Metal aka PTTM showroom in the Netherlands until being sold to a private collector in 2017. I contacted the PTTM showroom just yesterday for more information and they informed me that the car is currently in a private collection in Belgium and they also provided me with this recently taken photo of it. However, the current owner is planning on putting it up for a Mecham auction in January of next year, which means the car will be back in the United States again pretty soon. I was also told by PTTN that the current owner is open to direct offers before taking it to the auction block next year. So if anyone is interested in purchasing this iconic movie car, now is your chance. Please contact PTTM via this email address or phone number and ask for Max. Well, there you have it folks. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw here. You guys are all great. See you next time.